Hello and welcome. This is your Funky Onky. Let's play Fallout 3, Let's Episode 14, Part 5. And this one, Mr. Crowley. Hey, you. Yeah, you. I want to talk. Me? What the hell did you wake me up for, smooth skin? What are you staring at? You think you'd never seen a ghoul up close before? Easy now. I've got nothing against ghouls. Is that so? Even if I call you a milk-sucking, mutant-loving, water-stealing son of a whore? <laughs> All true, except the part about the mutants, the water, and the whore. <laughs> I like a human that knows this place. Too many of you think we're all just zombies. They don't know or don't care that we're just as human as they are inside. We bleed, we hurt, we regret. Mm. And you know what really pisses me off? They think the only way to kill us is to shoot us in the head, like in the old zombie stories, and that'll put us out of our misery. Hey, I know. Maybe you could help me even the score. Um, maybe. I don't know if I should trust you. The feeling's mutual, smooth skin. But that never stopped a business deal. A lot of you humans are bigots. You don't like ghouls and treat us like zombies, calling us brain eaters and shufflers. Well, they're gonna pay. Uh, before I get into the details, you don't have anything against killing, do you? Not for the right cause. Or the right money, huh? I've got this list of people. Ghoul bigots. Real scum. I've only got four guys left on the list. Started with eleven. All of them hate ghouls and treat us like we're zombies. They all deserve to die, but it has to be done with a headshot. Just like the old stories where zombies can only be killed that way. I'll give you a hundred caps for each of them. If they die some other way, I'm only paying 25, though. Um, yeah, sure. People like that don't deserve to live. Excellent. Take this sniper rifle. You'll need it. Here's a list of the guys and their last known locations. Word will get around if Tenpenny's killed, but I'll need proof for the others. Bring me back something personal from each of them as proof. Like a key, a ring, or something. Uh, time for me to go. Later. Who the fuck is Dave? I mean, obviously I ki Oh yeah, that's right, Dave! I killed Dave, I forgot about that. So, I got Dave's key. Well, I might as well do it all at once. Wasn't that a shot to the head? I, I thought I killed him by shooting him in the face. But yeah, so, we need to kill Ted Strayer, Dukov, and Alistair Tenpenny. Well, to be honest, well, let's see what uh, if anybody else knows anything about him. This guy Crowley. Hey, if you want something to eat, you should order it quick, hun. The stew just stopped moving. Oh, nice. Uh, what can you tell me about Crowley? He's an odd one. Why, just a few months ago, he decided he didn't like people calling us zombies. No ghoul likes to be called a zombie, but Crowley was going up to humans and almost daring them to do it. Huh. Alright, I have to go now. What? Not full yet? Not hungry. Hey, Carol. What do you need? Do you know Mr. Crowley? The back room renter? Oh, he's a swell guest. So polite, too. Never gets mad at anyone. I've been letting that room to him for about a year now. So he doesn't do anything strange? Well, he does keep talking about how he's going to make his fortune soon. He says as soon as he finds some wastelander to do his dirty work, ding, he'll ding, be ding. set for ding, life. Ding, ding. I think it's just the whiskey talking vile stuff. Right, I'll have to go now. Don't let these people get to you. Yeah, let's uh, let's ask around, cause this this is 
soon as some dumb wastelander will do his dirty work, that sounds like it's aimed at me. Hey. Hey, you here for a cut? Maybe a buzz? Mohawk? Come on, something. Yeah, you know what? Sure, let's get a haircut, because I might as well take off what do you my, need? uh... Take off the helmet, since it's, you know, completely busted. I should get that fixed. Um, where are we going? <laughs> you know what? Why not? And since, as I've always said, a beard with sideburns just looks silly if your hair doesn't connect to it. Let's go ahead and change our facial hair, too. That one dude, it was a, a dude in one of the vaults. I really liked the way that his, uh, he had a, like a mustache and a chin strip thing that I thought actually looked pretty cool. I'm going to see if I can find that. Eventually, in time. See, because it had... Is that it? No. no. It had more of a mustache than that. That's closer. That's not it. That wasn't it. That's definitely not it. No. 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 I think that might have been it. Yeah, because it wasn't Ronan in the prison center. Yeah, we're going to go with that. Just for the... Actually, no. You know what? I kind of like the, uh... Was it the bar brawler? No. Dead man's hand? Yeah. Let's rock that with the hawk. And in fact, even though they lost... I'll rock the red this one time. Yep, that's my hair. Thanks. What can you tell me about Mr. Crowley? I know he doesn't sell jet. Bastard. You want to know about Crowley? Go ask Quinn or Greta. I don't follow the gossip around here like they do. Yeah, that works. I have to go now. Remember, no charge. Yeah, I remember. So, let's get out of this stuffy ass helmet. Ugh. Better. And honestly, aside from it, you know, being bright red and looking kind of silly, that's not half bad. So, anyway, you want me to talk to Quinn, huh? I was just talking to him. Wee! I said, Wee! He's the one with a gun. What's going on? Hi. There's Quinn. Hey, hey. hey. Just couldn't stay away from us, could you? Of course not. So what's that Mr. Crowley up to? I might know something interesting if you're willing to pay for it. <laughs> Let's try it. 87%. How about I don't? How about you just tell me? Okay, okay. No need to get upset. Crowley is running some sort of scam. He tried to get me to kill some wastelanders, but I wouldn't do it. Dave is one of them. I've met Dave, and he's mighty strange, but he's no bigot. Yeah. He doesn't hate fools any more than I do. Well, thanks. We know that he's not actually after bigots now, and he wants the key. Later. Um, yeah, I don't think I'm gonna give him the, uh, keys that I have. Don't let the smell get to you. Oh, thanks. Hello. See, maybe they know something What's about happening? him in the Ninth Circle. You thought I couldn't What's say the word. DNR, three dog. All you need to know. News time. Well now, children. looky here. We got us a smooth skin that I ain't ever seen before. I'm Azrakal. And this this is the ninth circle. Ever. Folks got problems, and I got liquor to sell them. Well, liquor and a few other pick-me-ups. You need anything, you just let me know. Um, does Crowley spend a lot of time in here? What's his angle? If I start telling tales about my customers, I'll lose all of them. 
Oh, you're studio. useless. All three dogs, toasters, oh, let's try it. Friends. Well, oh, what's we're almost out of time. Come on. Crowley shows up here last year. He's a ghoul, just like the rest of us. Now, all of a sudden, he's looking for payback against ghoul haters. Except I've met Dukov. He never insulted a ghoul in his life. Dukov's got the foulest mouth in the wasteland. He's a drunk and a womanizer. But he's no bigot. Go ask him yourself. Huh. No, oh, I have to go now, because I'm out of time. Drink till she's pretty. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, this has been your Funky Honky. Stay tuned for part six, and I hope that you will see me next time.